Hi. When you're here, you're probably asking yourself how you can automate your timeout channel point reward on Twitch so that it's not that much work anymore for you and your mods. And you probably don't want to program this function by yourself. I will now not just show you how you can do this automated timeout thing, but also how you can do an alert which will show up when someone was timeouted. Because I think it's kind of funny to do such a thing. So, first you need to create a channel point reward, like you normally do. And you have to click that your viewers should insert a text. And the text needs to be the name of the person who should be timeouted later on. So make sure that the description of your reward says that your viewers should insert the name of someone else. They can also put in their own name. Just make sure that they understand what they have to do. And make sure that you remember the name you gave your reward, because we will need it in a few seconds again. To create those automated timeouts without being someone who's really talented in programming, you will need a bot. In this case, we will use the Mix It Up bot. It's possible that there are others who can do this, but I'm not familiar with them, so we're using this one. This program is actually something the Mixer community used, but um, let's don't talk about what happened to them. Anyways, we can use this bot for Twitch now too. Installing and signing up shouldn't be a problem for you, I guess. For this tutorial, you have to have at least your Twitch account connected to your Mix It Up. Yeah, Mixed App is delivered with a complete desktop application. And here you've got the opportunity to directly create reactions for channel point rewards. And here you can see that I've created this whole thing. And if you want to be pretty fast, you just have to take a look at this thing and just copy it. This part down here creates some exceptions for my mods so that they are gonna be remodded when they got timeouted. And now we will do the whole creation together. It's not that complicated. We start by clicking add command down here and then clicking advanced command. The reward name needs to be exactly the same like it is in Twitch. That means on Twitch our reward has a specific name. In my case the name was timeout someone so we type timeout someone in here. Next, we add moderation as an action. And in the drop down menu, we're choosing chat timeout. And for the username, we will insert here a dollar sign target username. This now causes that the name from the message of your reward is taken. And this action is executed for this name. And in the end you have to put in an amount of uh, seconds someone should be timeouted. I took 30, so let's take 30. And then you've already seen some other actions before in my build. I call them exception and then a name behind them. This is because how I build a thing your viewers can time out your mods too. The bad thing about that is that when your mods are timeouted, they will lose their mod status and they won't get remodded after that automatically. So we have to fix this now. For this we will use the conditional action. You can rename them into exception and the mod name behind it. And now for the first value you have to insert dollar sign target username. And for the second value you will plug in your mod's name. And then you will choose again a single action and add moderation. And there you're choosing mod user and you plug in your mod's name again. I'm not doing this with target username again because it wasn't working for me but when you find a solution for it let me know because you can add more cases in here but uh, it, it wouldn't work out like I wanted it to be so yeah. <laughs> so if you've got a solution like this it's very nice but I messed it up. When you're finished save everything 
And as we've seen before, it should look like this somehow in the end. Now everything's working, but I told you that you can also do an alert for your timeouts and this is what we take a look at now. For this you have to add the Mix It Up overlay to your streaming program, like you did it for Streamlabs or Stream Elements too. You will find the overlay under the point services in Mix It Up. Up here it says overlay and mine is now connected. Therefore it has dense disconnect. Now there are two options how you can create an alert. The first one is to do it with the channel points themselves. In this case the alert will solely be triggered when someone chooses the channel point reward. Alternatively we can create this alert for every timeout under the events tab. This is what I did. My alert for timeouts gets triggered every time when someone is timeouted. For this you will scroll until you can find this timeout thing and there you can add a command or in my case I can click edit this whole thing. And here you can also add actions like we did it for the channel point thing. I've added overlay, sound and again overlay in here. There are two overlays because one overlay is just the text I've added and this target username will be replaced by the person who got timeouted. And the second overlay thing is just an image, in my case it's in GIF I added. And sound is also just a sound file that I've added. These actions are also added from the action part down here and you are doing it like you did it before. So you're searching for the overlays or sound thing, click plus and then it looks like this when it's like virgin. You just need to click through a bit, I'm pretty sure you will figure out how this works. And in the end we can test this whole thing down here. User was kicked out of your channel. Your alert won't appear in your window, I just added the overlay to my recording. Now we will test if this works with the channel point reward too. So let's test with Tepit because he's here. Let's see what happens. User was kicked out of your channel. Perfect. And that's it. When you're interested in tutorials like this, then do the regular things like subscribing, commenting, thumbs up. Just do what you want. See you next time. Bye.